100 years ago, we had an American revolution to make sure that we got democracy in this country. Well, today starts the new American revolution to make sure that we get our democracy back. So brothers and sisters, are you ready to stand up? Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to march? Democracy awakening, they call it. Thousands of protesters massing in Washington. All over the country, Americans are fed up. Fed up! Fed up! Fed up! Fed up! And rebelling against the politicians and the power brokers. I believe that we will win! Fighting against Citizens United. We do not believe that corporations are people. Voter suppression. We will never stop battling. Dark money. The money was popping from one nonprofit to another, all for the purpose of concealing donors. Gerrymandering. The real work on redistricting was being done behind closed doors. Pressing for reform. If this singing and these chants up on the Capitol steps remind you of the Civil Rights Movement, it should. This is Americans protesting, in this case, against big money in politics, for voting rights, against gerrymandering, against a broken political system. It's the kind of story I've seen before. In the 1960s, I covered the civil rights protests in the Deep South, reported on the Vietnam War in Saigon, the Cold War in Gorbachev's perestroika from Moscow, and covered six American presidents. Today, partisan gridlock blocks change in Washington. And so once again, the grassroots are riled up and rising up state by state. We need to put the power of the vote back into the hands of the people. Linda Bach is a modern Paul Revere, awakening the popular rebellion. She collected 21,000 signatures to help put initiative I-735 on the 2016 ballot. I've long had the idea that I am continuing the American Revolution. Every signature I get is just another check for the Constitution and the power of we the people. Democracy, you must fight for it or it'll slip right out of your hands. 